Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Elements tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use LUTs or color lookup tables inside Adobe Premiere Elements. So if you're new to the channel and you like these types of videos, make sure you head down below and hit that subscribe button. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use LUTs with Adobe Premiere Elements. So oftentimes when you're filming video, you'll use a neutral color space so that you can adjust that color later. Sometimes you may have actually made a mistake in your exposure settings or you want to adjust some more contrast or get some more color out of your video. And this is a simple and easy way to do it using the Logaris program. So the first step we want to do is head on to the internet and download the Logaris program onto our computer. And then we're going to open up Adobe Premiere Elements and I'm going to show you how to use it. So let's get started. So the first step to starting out with LUTs in Adobe Premiere Elements is to head to your web browser and go to logarist.com, L-O-G-A-R-I-S-T.com. Once you're on their website, you'll see on the left-hand side here that you have all of the instructions for the different types of software that you may want to use. So we're using Premiere Elements. So as you can see here, it actually gives you full instructions of what you need to do. So I will take you through all of that, but what you need to do first is actually download the Logarist application. So you wanna head here to download Logarist and you wanna look for Adobe Premiere. It's going to download it. It's a 75.6 megabyte file, it says here. So once you've downloaded the Logaris version for your system, here I'm using a Windows computer, so you can see it's putting it in the program files, Adobe Common Plugins, Media Core. That's exactly where I want it to be. So I'm actually going to leave it that way. Click on next and that will proceed with the install. So because I already have this installed on my system, I'm not gonna go any further. So you would then click next and follow the prompts to install it onto your system. So now that Logaris is installed on your system, our next step is to open up Adobe Premiere Elements and I will show you how to use it. So now that you have the Logaris color editor on your system, you are now ready to start using LUTs on your videos. So what I'm gonna show you how to do now is apply that to one of your videos. So the first thing you wanna do is add some media down to your timeline. So I've chosen some DJI, some drone shots that I have. Uh, for the specific reason that the exposure and the contrast is way off. So I'll put these on the timeline or I'll put this one on the timeline here. This is the worst one. And you'll be able to see how Logarist works to do a color correction. So here we go. Drag this down. Put that on our timeline here. So as you can see, or maybe not see, the, the contrast in this video and the exposure is, is way off and it could look a lot better. So we're going to use the Logaris Color Editor to correct that. So you wanna head over to the right hand panel to your FX tab and in FX, it would kinda of look like this. You wanna actually search for Logaris. So I just type L-O-G and it shows up. You wanna drag this down to your timeline onto your video. And then once that's on top of your video, you wanna to go to the setup button here and you wanna put your input LUT. So we're gonna click on open. And we were using a DJI. So we're going to use this as our input. So if you have a Canon camera, there's all your Canon ones. If you have a Sony camera, here's your Sony S-Log, S-Log 2, S-Log Sony Cine. So whatever you have, everything is there to give the program kind of a starting point. So again, we're gonna go to DJI, click on that, click on open. Once that's applied to your video, the next step is to click setup again, and you wanna click on your output. So in this case, your output is usually a BT709 color space, which is right here. And these are kind of 
all of your options. So we're gonna click on this one, Logaris to BT709, click on open. And you can see that is what our video looks like now. So definitely, uh, definitely doesn't look so great. <laughs> so what you wanna do here now is use the sliders to make the fine adjustments to get the most color out of your video as possible. So we already knew our exposure was way too high. So we're gonna bring down the exposure. We're also gonna fix our contrast a little bit here because we know it was way off as well. And then you also have the ability to adjust the individual red, green, and blue as well. So that's after just a few adjustments of the slider here. So you can click on this little eye. You can see that is the before. Here, I'll get this out of the way. And that's after. That's before and that's after. So we might still be a little deep on the contrast here. So let's take a little bit away. That's a little better. So there you go. There's before, after, and maybe even take a little of the exposure away. So there you have it. Simple and easy way to add some color correction and change the look or style of your videos using the Logaris color editing system. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure you head down below, hit that like button. If you wanna see more videos like this one, smash that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy out there.